Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about summer research program, uh, summer research internship program at Iser Mohali. Um, so in this video is going to talk about everything in detail. So make sure you watch this video till end for the detailed information about it. Uh, I'll give the link to reach out to this particular page in the description of this video. So you can check out the link over there and you can directly come up to this particular page, right? So as you can see, this is the official page of uh, Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research, Mohali. That is basically Iser Mohali and this is the page dedicated for Summer Research Program 2022. Now it says that the application are invited for Iser Mohali Summer Research Program uh, selected student at the level of BSc, second and third year, MSc, first year or equivalent will be able to spend eight weeks at Iser Mohali during the summer in order to work on the specific summer project with Iser Mohali faculty. The principal objective of the program is to provide exposure to research, uh, research methodology and research environment to the bright student. Uh, this exposure uh, to different scientific field is expected to motivate them to take up careers in science. So basically, it is very much clear, uh, all the things are very much clear to you, I guess that it is going to be a two week program and this is applicable for BSc second year and third year students and MSc first year students, right? So, and one more thing that this program is made in a way so that uh, you will learn about research methodology and so that it will be easy for you in future if you want to pursue research. So, this will be a good exposure to you in the research field so that you can think about it in future how to apply or whether whether you are whether you are interested in research or not. So, that particular thing will be clear uh, once you do this internship. Now, uh, date for the internship. Uh, will be between June 1st and July 27th. So, that will be the two months of the year. The minimum period of the summer research is one month and the maximum period is eight weeks. Uh, the program, uh, summer research program has two components. Okay, It has two components. Component number one is research. Now, the research is where the student will carry out the consultation with his or her supervisor and the second uh, component is interdisciplinary coursework in which which involve a series of lecture to be delivered by the scientist working in various fields. At the end of the summer program, the students are required to submit a report about their research. All students who successfully complete the summer program will receive a certificate from Iser Mohali. So, it is pretty simple. There will be two things done in the program. One will be your, uh, like you will be exposed to the research field and the second thing will be, you will be able to attend different lectures where you will learn about other, uh, like uh, other uh, fields as well. And at the end of the program, you have to submit a report that is going to give you a certificate. Now, the application can be submitted through online form. While filling the form, you should be careful to provide information correctly. Okay, one thing which many of you might ask me in the comment. So, let me make this very clear that this program is offline. Okay, you have to go there for two months and work over there. Okay, it's not an online program. Okay, so this is the link for the form. If you click on this particular link, a form will open up. I'll show you this one. A little late and uh, I'll show you how to fill the form at that time right the last date for receiving online application is May 12 2022 so remember that the application is online but the uh, internship is going to be offline okay um, your selection for the research for the summer program may be under the following categories there are three categories for the selection category a is for the students having their own scholarship that means someone who is having inspire fellowship okay so this basically talks about the inspire fellowship because at msc and uh, bsc level that is one fellowship which students generally have second category is the number of students may be supported on the competitive basis through ssr serb grants okay this is the government grant uh, of individual faculty member name of the faculty member who may support their category are marked with a star in the application form so once you fill the application form there you will see the list of the uh, play, uh, like list of the uh, supervisor or the faculties who are taking the students and if they, you see a, a extrinsic in front of their name that means they already have a funding in them right and category c will be rest of the students right so rest of the students will be funded i think by the uh, either mohali itself okay uh, next it says that before confirmation of the selection a number of tentatively offered candidate will be required to furnish document to verify the information provided um, by them in the online application form. Aizar Mohali will not provide any other stipend, fellowship, financial support or food, travel etc. Okay, so this thing, uh, okay, they have made it clear over here that if you fall under category A, of course, you will be having your own scholarship. In that case, 
you will be having inspire or something you will be getting money out of that if you uh, are selected under category b where your uh, like faculty is going to give you some stipend based upon what he is getting from ssr serb right so the faculty is going to give you uh, if you fall under category c this is something where you are not going to get any stipend for this particular internship so this will be like a paid internship for you okay so this is something which should be very clear to you category c no internship is going to be provided it is made very clear in this particular para right okay accommodation either mohali will provide free of cost accommodation to the students in category c other student will have to pay a nominal accommodation so since category c students are not getting any stipend and all so in that case he will they will be providing the accommodation to them but for others since they are getting some stipend so they have to uh, pay for the accommodation but the charge will be very nominal okay and yeah one more thing that the food and other things also you have to pay a little bit like the charges won't be very much high so you will be able to manage that so this was all about this uh, aizar mohali uh, program let me show you the application form how it looks so once you click on this particular form uh, you will be able to see a google form and this is how it opens up so it says application form for summer program 2022 as at aizar mohali and uh, basically you have to sign into the google in order to fill the form email then your name then your number your address these things you have to fill then you have to select the next like in that way your form will be filled like this will be a step wise form it's not a one page form so there will be different different steps in that so in every step you have to fill the form right and it's very simple it's pretty simple to fill the form if you have any doubt in filling up the form do let me know in the comment section i'll try to help you out in that uh, but yeah this was all about this particular internship program if you are interested to join this the last date is 12th may so make sure that you apply before 12th may and uh, if you are interested uh, you should make a good you know proposal so that uh, you will be selected in category b that will be the best one where you will be getting some stipend from the faculty as well so try to do that and one more thing many will be asking me that uh, i have completed my msc am i eligible for that so for them again i'm making it very clear that this program is only for bsc second year and third year students and msc first year student it's not even for the msc final year students it not it is not even for the bsc first year student not msc final year not bsc first year so bsc second year bsc third year or msc first year student uh, and if if you are uh, falling under uh, like semester system same goes for the semester also first year means uh, semester 1 and semester 2 all right so this is all about this internship program i hope the things are clear to you and if you are interested you should apply for it i will suggest you that you should at least do any of the summer research internship if you are interested to go for research in future you should go for any internship program that will be very helpful for you and uh, in future it will be like whenever you will try to apply for uh, research or when you will you will try to apply for phd at that time these internships are going to help you over there Okay so that's it from my side for this particular video thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csir ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n_huda that's it for this thank you so much